in I'm Compulsive Gambler, a spec 14th of April 2007. Hi guys and girls, welcome to my weekly vlog about gambling addiction and how well I've been and how you always have been. Um, busy week work wise and football kid football wise as well, especially this weekend. Been on the go non stop all weekend with Liam's football tournaments. Uh, great to get out and watch him and stuff and kids keeping active and things like that. It's a good thing. Uh, got to the final yesterday of one tournament and lost in the final but and uh, just one goal out today to get through to the final with his other team but it's been a good fun filled af afternoon a couple of days doing it and stuff so is what it is uh, fully recovered from a run last Sunday I've been alright I've actually been running three times this week as well so I've been in pretty fit pretty good I've just got to eat a bit healthier I've been yeah, eating quite a lot of rubbish lately. Hi Wolfie, hope you're doing well. Um, but yeah, I'm in good nick, I'm in good spirits. Uh, I'm happy at the minute. Um, I am going to trial in the next uh, couple of weeks, have a go a bit of a go on Twitch. So I don't know if that might be a, a viable way to kind of communicate on here, so not instead of YouTube, with YouTube as well. Hopefully that might work and see what happens, mate. Yeah, I'm all good Wolfie, all good mate. Uh, plodding on, living the dream, work and uh, trying to keep fit and running a family. Well, not running a family, they run me more than anything. But yeah, happy, happy, really happy. Um, like I say, we're, uh, obviously I'm a long way, way, way into my recovery, but I can never get complacent. I'm still doing good. No, I've had no thoughts of gambling. You still get the odd gambling dream now and again. Not had one for a while, but it's still a bit of a you wake up, I think what the hell kind of a moment but it is what it is with gambling addiction and things and all that lot um, not a lot been talks about recently and stuff I have heard of a docu of a like a one-off documentary special coming out in England I think it's towards the end of June uh, where Ross Kemp has uh, done a little bit of a documentary and he's talked to other problem gamblers or gambling addicts however you want to uh, refer to yourself as so I'm looking forward to watching that in be interesting to see what comes of it and uh, it'll be probably a good debating points as well and hopefully it's fair as well and balanced throughout, if you know what I mean. Hi Andrew, uh, I wasn't too far away. In the end, losing my job lost my home really, but I always made sure I paid my mortgage, but yeah, there is some horror stories out there where you actually, it's people who've lost their homes and uh, end up in different accommodation and stuff and all right like not paying your bills and things like that there's obviously people who hid away and hid away their addiction and got to the stage where they've been hidden like where they've been done by the police and actually not told the family until the next day they're going to prison kind of thing as well there is stories out there there's many people who've lost everything and more because of gambling um i like say i racked up 60 grand in debt and unsecured and some secured debt as well I always made sure I paid my pay, got a roof over my head. I always paid my mortgage, which is probably the only decent thing I really did throughout my time when I was really struggling and stuff and all that. Like, but I just neglected everything else. So, but yeah, there is some absolute horrific stories out there. People losing their homes, uh, families unbeknown to them that the house is going to get evicted and things like that, and you've got to move out the next day and stuff. Hi Lee, uh, yeah, got a nice spot, got a nice lie in this morning. I've been on night, so I kind of like slept right through the night. I was up very early Saturday morning to take Liam to a football tournament and uh, had about three or four hours kick, which didn't get home from work till three hours, about three o'clock in the morning, Saturday morning. So I zonked out from about half ten to about half nine uh, this time. Woke me up with a nice cup of tea in bed and uh, nice cards and stuff like that, so it was really good. Yeah, the RLE, but it is what it is, mate. I'm kind of like hardened to it. You, sometimes I'm all right, sometimes I'm not. Uh, I try to recover the best I can. It is what it is, shift work, and uh, you get paid pretty well as well. It keeps, like I say, keeps a roof over my head. I keep paying bills and keep doing all normal things and stuff and all like that. And as I say, family life takes over as well, so it's worth it in the end. I'm actually looking forward to getting away on holiday this year. I can't wait to get away on there. Going off to Devon, so if anyone's down there that kind of way in August. 
feels free for you to drop by, say hello or whatever and everything like that. That'd be nice. I'm always looking forward to meeting new people and talking who who are my followers and who I follow back and things on Twitter and whatever social media as well. So all good there. Like I say there is hope, there is help out there. Gamban app, Gamblock, Gamstop, all great tools for helping like excuse yourself from gambling sites and stuff like that. There is Moses as well, the multi-operator self-exclude scheme. With all these things, you've got to make them work for yourself. Trying to bypass them and stuff. It's, 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 I know it's hard, the compulsion can be. But instead of trying to probably like test the waters, and if you've got that urge, talk to somebody. How are you feeling? And then you might be able to resist that urge for the day. And then all of a sudden you've gone a week, you've gone two weeks, you've gone three weeks always open up brilliant Andrew like you say you've got Gamban there's that many different good tools out there and it's, and it's very very useful to have and make them work for you it's a good psychological effect as well and it removes part of that temptation just at keep increasing a lower a lower a lower increasing those laser and laser and laser barriers you can make, make it as difficult as you can to gamble and you all go a long way I promise you Thank you, Lee. That's most kind. That's what I'm trying to do. I try, I just try to break the stigma. There's not many of us out there who are going out there fully open and stuff and all that. Like you've got like Lee, who's got Wygam, Paul, who's got Epic, Frankie, who's got Bet No More, who are trying to strive in education and things and all that. Like you also got the vloggers. It's quite a few of us now. It's myself. Obviously, I'm always going to be about and um, longing and tooth and stuff and all that. Like, but you've got John O'Reilly. You've got. Uh, Gavin Byrne, you've got Katie Clark, you've got uh, Gambling Socks, you've got loads of them. They're fantastic guys who are doing uh, fantastic videos and stuff and all that, like, to talk people. You've got Joel as well, he's a great, great stuff. <laughs> oh yeah, trendsetter, <laughs> kind of. <laughs> I don't think so. I'm the only one who's trying to go live though, I think, because I think it's harder to probably do pre-records as well for me now. I enjoy this kind of element of talking and trying to interact as well, really, if you know what I mean. You know I've got an ego and a half lay. You've seen me. <laughs> Brilliant three months, Andrew. That's fantastic. Gamble for five years and today is 31 day gamble for a Brilliant, Louise. Fantastic achievement. Well done. Keep going. You're inspiring others with your, how long you're going and stuff and all that. Like, feel free to drag your... Put your social media tags underneath. Uh, hi, Katie. Hope you're doing well. It's Katie. She's one of the vloggers. She does quite a lot of good videos as well. Get on, get on her vlogs and stuff. Get a subs get subs get a subscriptions up and stuff and all that lot. Uh, everyone's stuff as well. For me. Everyone's loss is different. Mine was a loss, lot of money in the long term. But exactly, Katie, you get there, don't you? A day at a time. We have to be selfish in recovery. As much as I love doing the vlogs and stuff and all that lot, I've got to help myself. I'll always look after myself. I have had appearances. <laughs> Sorry, Katie, but uh, um, I love doing the vlogs and stuff. But I have times where I've took two or three weeks out to just look after me, especially in the early times when I was live recording and things and all that. Lot, like, because sometimes, yeah, you have your down days. I've had my down days, if you know what I mean. Yeah, as precisely, Louise, you have to be selfish in recovery. You have to keep your wits about you. You have to keep sane. If you get them urges to gamble, open up, talk to somebody. More wise, it's so wise to do that, and it helps. It helps so much. Just, just get a bit, a bit off your chest and stuff. On a, on a slightly different point, I went to a mental health open evening last night. It's called the Night Boss, and uh, called Heads High Charity. And what they do in Derby uh, every Saturday evening from ten till one in the morning, they've got like a little thing called Chatterbox Cafe. And it's like a drop-in centre for anyone who has mental health issues or problems. And some volunteers tears there who just quite happily listen and talk and be someone to be there for someone who wants to get stuff off the chest if they're not feeling good or something like that. Um, I am probably going to look to volunteer with them once a month, so it'd be quite nice to sit there and talk because I enjoy, I enjoy talking to people, obviously. And uh, you know what I'm like, I can talk kind like off a donkey. But... It might help me as well to understand a bit more about mental health and things and all that lot really and just I have free time on a Saturday quite a lot and I think it'd be a perfect thing because 
also as well, it's good to be late at night as well, because there's a lot, where, what I find when people message me for help through gambling addiction, most of the time it's people in about early hours in the morning and things like that, and that's when you feel like you're probably your loneliest and at your most uh, rock bottom, if you know what I mean, so, so to speak. Thank you, Lou, appreciate that. Cheers, Katie. Yeah, we are thinking we're going to do it. It's the first time I'm going to actually ever volunteer and stuff like that, aren't they? Hi, Andrew. I love to be more regular at meetings, and I strive for everyone to go every week. I've not been for a few, for about six, seven weeks now, but that's due to work and due to my kids doing sports and stuff and all that. Like, but I am planning to be at the Chesterfield meeting a week tomorrow. So if anyone's around the north, North Derbyshire area, Sheffield area, or something like that. I am going to be at the Chesterfield meeting. It'd be good to catch up and see people and stuff like that as well. I enjoy the meetings and I have missed them and stuff and all that. Lot. I have probably been using this a bit more as a replacement for my recovery and stuff and all that. Lot. North Derbyshire, Louise, it's about 25 minutes from where I am in Derby. Uh, as I say, I've kind of used this, Andrew. I also got my literature as well from Gamblers Anonymous and things like that and also got like WhatsApp groups where I talk to people who are in recovery and stuff and all that lot. So I've always got like a network of people to talk to and this is why I, that was what I tell the people, build up your networks, talk to as many people as possible. You can relate to someone from, but even if from uh, John O'Groats to Land's End, I'm wide open and I talk to people from America and stuff and all that. I've been involved in some Skype meetings with uh, Jeffrey Wasserman. He does like a actual Skype virtual like meeting kind of thing once twice a week. That's fun. That's a really good thing. Hi, uh, hi, Laura. Nice to see you. Second, second of June. Fabulous. Nearly two, nearly two weeks. That's well, it is two weeks, isn't it? Brilliant, Laura. Well done. Uh, not far from Chesterfield. Oh, okay, no problem. I'll be there a week on Monday if you're going to want to go to the meeting. That's great stuff. It's nice to see everyone giving themselves pats on the back and stuff and all that. That's fantastic. Excuse me. I hope everyone's doing well, like I say, as always. Um, what other kind of ways do you recover, guys? Obviously, there's gam care as well. Hi, gam so Yeah, the tash is gone now, mate. I'm fully recovered and there's no way you're going to get me in that outfit ever again. I tell you now. But yeah, but for me, my recovery, I enjoy doing these videos and these vlogs and stuff and all that. Uh, like I say, I will be doing them once a week every Sunday at 8pm. I might have a bit of a play around in midweek ones when I'm on day shifts as well. And uh, it'd be great stuff and things like that. Brilliant, Laura. Yeah, mini marathon. I get a lot out of running and keeping, trying to keep fit and stuff and all that. Like, and uh, that was kind of my replacement because... I talk about time a lot with gambling addiction and that's the biggest killer for me. Uh, everyone, quite a lot of people worry about the debt. Yeah, fair enough, but every day you go by not gambling, it's only going to go one way and that's down the actual gambling addiction, the actual debt does. And that's why I say focus on time, focus on your well-being, focus on your mental, trying to get mentally strong and stuff and all that. Like, keep talking, open up to people, read a book get running and stuff and all that lot. Hi Darren. Yeah, oh it's Darren. I already know you by gambling sucks. I'm guessing I've never known you by your real by your proper name gambling sucks. Sorry mate. Oh, now it's Darren, I'll go it. Yeah, it is a uh, like I say, there's plenty of lots of stories out there Andrew to have a look about and stuff and all that lot. I'm I've known quite a few who I've lost there. Like I say, lost the houses and stuff and all that. Like, if you drop your like your stuff in, like your social media in, be people quite happily talk to you. Oh, lovely Louise, two guinea pigs. So, you, like I say, something different, something to look after, something to cherish, something to nurture and stuff. And you save that money now because you've got something, you got a bit of an interest and you got a bit of a responsibility. Exactly, Lee. Exactly, Lee. Yeah. I mean, I, I enjoy getting getting involved with stuff like that, you know that, Lee. And it's great to talk to people within the industry and within like the education and stuff and all that. Like, it's really good. As Katie quite rightly says, she does gambling addiction. She's got her own YouTube gambling about gambling, her story. And gambling sucks as as well. Please give them a watch. Really good. It is great for you, Katie, because you're probably the only one in the country that's doing it who's a lady. It, 
like the vlogging and stuff and all that. Like, yeah, it's quite a few. It's quite a few of you out there who do do a lot of talking and stuff like that, blogs and stuff. Because you've got Kelly as well. She's a cracker. Kelly Field. She's been on the telly and stuff about her addiction and talked to her as well. She's a fantastic lady as well. There's some great ladies out there who are beat well who have fought gambling addiction and who are vocal and who are very supportive of each other as well. Uh, she does with Kate. Oh, I'll let Katie answer that, Laura. No problem. Lee will sort you out as well. If Katie doesn't answer Lee, I've got her Twitter anyway, so I'll pass it on to you as well, mate. Um, uh, I hope you're doing well, Owen. How's the mountains gone on and stuff? So you've done very well. You've got your few videos out as well. I hope it's been really good. Uh, seems to be very interesting as well i'm not really a tent kind of person i like my home comforts too much so you always find me in like a hotel or a bnb &B or something like that it's or sort of someone's city probably as well uh i'm not really a tent person so i probably couldn't do what you're doing owen but fantastic achievement mate well done i imagine it's been quite breezy and not very nice weather as well by the looks of it i mean it in derby it's like uh, you could build bloody noah's ark here to be fair <laughs> But yeah, it's nice to see everybody interacting and stuff and all that. Like, and that's why I open it up for. And it's nice to see many people uh, talking and trying to support each other and stuff and all that. Like. And this is what I, I love about my vlog. I can leave you guys to it, talking to each other and having a laugh and joke and trying to push yourself into recovery. And if you have a sip, you pick up and pick up again. <laughs> I can imagine, Owen. I can imagine. I, can, I couldn't do what you guys, what you're doing, so it's a fabulous achievement, mate. Well done. Be proud of yourself. Pat yourself on the back, as always. That's what I always like to do, pat yourself on the back. But, yeah, I mean, there's lots of help out there. Gamcare do great one-on-one -on -one stuff, and you can phone them up and things and all that. Look, sorry for the noise from my uh, lounge. Lucy's having a bit of a shout, and Liam's having a bit of a, I think a bit of a, bit of a slanging match. Kids are kids, so to speak. I had a good... Uh, parents evening with Joel on Tuesday it's his first year at senior school and it's nice to hear from every teacher as well saying what a, well, a very polite and kind boy he is and stuff and uh, I'm sure I'm, I'm very proud of him and he's above and uh, at levels where he needs to be with everything so it's fantastic to be a proud dad so to speak um, yeah Father's Day as well like I said uh, it's been great, really. Obviously, it took up with a lot of sport. Been to see my own man because they're down here, house sitting in my sister's house while they're on holiday. So nice to have access to them nearly every day for the last few for the last week or so and stuff. Um, as you've seen on Twitter, he has got a bit of a do double for Ian Holloway, the football manager. Uh, if anyone knows him and stuff and all that lot, uh, but yeah, he's in. It's good, and it's great to have the support of my mum and dad as well because they did question when I first started doing the vlogs and being wide open about my recovery and quite rightly they were worried um, but they've come around to what I do now and said it's fantastic and we even had my old man on the vlog as well and it, it's great but my dad still gambles and mum still does the lottery but I'm very comfortable around him it depends how comfortable if you know what I mean uh, with the high street bookies um, I just think I don't know. I mean, I think they're good. I think a, leave, a levy will be good on like the whole gambling industry, online casino, online industry, casino industry, high street industry, and everything like that. Like, to probably fund more into education and treatment. You think there's only three percent of problem gamblers in the UK are not not get are only getting treatment for either GA, Gamcare, and stuff and like, like Gordon Moody as well. And uh, I think needs, lots more needs to be done in that area. Um, Reducing the risk in schools, in colleges, in universities, even at like a professional level, like corporate level as well, doing the education and talking about there can be risks and trying to reduce that risk, so to speak. I think that's very important and it needs to be funded even more as well. Um, the industry, yeah, they can do more, but I'd rather talk to them. I'm not anti industry in any way. They've got the good points, they've got the bad points. I think they know that as well. I think with adverts as well, as Louise says as well, I think they're going to probably end up self-regulating and banning the whistle to whistle. And you probably see them go after nine o'clock, if you know what I mean, as well. 
No problem, Katie. Big love to you as well, darling. It'd be nice to see you one day. It'd be great. Um, but yeah, I think that's where the industry will go eventually. That's just my personal view and stuff. But I've talked to some fantastic guys in the industry who are courteous, who I've had some fantastic meetings with them. I won't name anybody or anything like that because I don't think it's fair. But they're really good. There's some really good people who are really committed to like trying to reduce the risk of gambling addicts and try and really care and want to stop people getting in trouble and stuff and all that. Like, it's very hard to police, very, very hard to police, especially on the high street. You self-exclude, but then somebody goes in again. It's hard to recognise people and stuff and all that. Like, and it might be an, a bit of responsibility, yeah, on the industry, but in book stops with us as well. We've got to make ourselves stop it, so to speak, if you know what I mean. We've got to look after our own recovery. And if you're trying to break them layers and layers and layers down and trying to get around those barriers, you've got to be ready to stop. You've got to take your own responsibility as well. And that's with anything in life, isn't it? Be it uh, addiction or say you're driving a car and stuff and things like that. You've got to face, con if you're going to do something, that's going to face a consequence. You're going to face consequences. If I went back and gambled again, I know full well I'd spiral out of control, end up lying to Becky, lying to my kids, and end up probably losing them, and I lose all the trust in me. And that's the biggest thing you lose in life with addiction is trust. Because no one think everyone thinks you're a liar, and you, all that trust you've built back up, and you lose it again. And that's what probably state keeps me away the most from gambling, especially that first year or two. Learn to be honest. Learn to be a human again. Learn to be a dad. Learn to be a husband. Learn to be a sister. Learn a sister. Learn to be a brother. You know what I mean? Learn to be a son. That's where I am with life, really, and life in general. You've got to keep at it. It's hard. I know, I know it's hard, but I've been in your shoes, guys. Anyone who's struggling watching this now, I've been where you are. I've been blind to everybody else. I've kept it bottled up and bottled up and bottled up until I got caught out. Try and be as honest as you can. Be brave. The bravest thing you can do is open up to someone. I can't guarantee the reactions. Yeah, I've got, I had a very upset wife and a very upset mum and dad and very upset in-laws. But I knew I had to make amends. I had to will get, get my life back in order. And slowly but surely, day by day, month after month, I did. I got better. I become a better person. I wasn't as angry. I wasn't as judgmental about people. That's my Sunday name, Lee. Andrew. <laughs> as you say, and Andrew, you're right. We need to take responsibility for ourselves. We do it at the end of the day, and that's with life in general. I can't talk that about if you know what I mean. Exactly. Get. Exactly. Again. Sorry, uh, Lee. Sorry, Lee. Brilliant, Louise. That's a perfect kind of th analogy as well. I don't want to feel that way again. I, I don't want to feel the way I did when I uh, smashed my PC up with a hammer in despair at rock bottom. I don't want to get to that levels again. Because if I ever got to that level again, I'd probably get even lower and I won't be around. And what use am I to anybody then? I'd just be another statistic. As you say, Lee, it does change your personality. Don't get me wrong, I've got ego the size of Derby. <laughs> and I'll, I'll, I'll admit that, if you know what I mean. <laughs> as, as you say, Andrew, yeah, fair enough, fair enough. But uh, yeah, you know, I'm just Derby. Thank you, Lee, yeah, cheeky. But that, that's the way I am, and I, I play on it, and I, but I'll quite happily take the mickey out. So if someone took, a, when I was gambling or when I first started, if someone was taking a mickey out of me, I'd take it to the fence and get quite nasty and vicious with somebody back. Nowadays, I take Mick out myself, and that's why I say it. I, I, I love having a laugh and a joke and thinking I'm number one. I have a laugh on Twitter about my football and stuff and all that, like, saying I get noticed at all the games and stuff and all that. Like. I, I, I'm a bugger like that. I am. But I care about gambling addiction. I care about breaking the stigma. I care about people's recoveries. Care for yourself. Important to look after yourself. Love yourself. Be happy, be strong, be safe. As you say, Louise, up the Rams, good girl, good girl, love that, love that. <laughs> but 
take interest in your family, take interest in your friends, take interest in life. I've took a, like a slight interest in politics lately. Um, I've always voted all my life, and uh, I don't know why I've took an interest in politics, but but it's a very important time, isn't it? I suppose Brexit and everything and all that lot, but it is what it is. But yeah, I mean, I read a bit more, I listen to a bit more, even if people disagree with me and stuff and stuff like that. I listen to people's points, and I respect people's views now. I won't just chuck them in the bin and just. Uh, call them a name or whatever and stuff like that or just label somebody I'm not like that anymore and uh, yeah I have to bite my lip a lot of times when people respond in quite, quite an ethical in a quite a difficult way but it is what it is I have to fight that you're a better person now it's the same when I was remember I felt and would snap I feel so good yeah it helped me Andy Andrew it made me a better person no doubt about it I feel on it, I feel honest, I feel good about myself, I feel chilled, I feel relaxed, I'm a, uh, I'm more level-headed than I've ever been in my life. I do daft things for charity, I do daft things with my kids and my family and stuff and all that, like, make a mockery out of myself. I don't take myself seriously, I don't call myself an expert, I'm just Andy, a compulsive gambler or gambling addict. I refer to either way, it doesn't really matter to me. If you refer to yourself as disordered, that's fine by me. I think the most important part for me is people trying to stay stuck and try and help others do the same. That's that's my one aim when I do the vlogs and stuff like that. And I hope these vlogs help you just as much as they help me. Because they do. And your kind words and your advice on there and stuff and like that. Thank you, Louise. Appreciate that. Uh, Gavin gives you a one trap mind. Once you're free, you get over silver people's. Exactly, uh, Darren. Exactly. Andrew, agree with that, yeah. Thank you, Owen, appreciate that. Yeah, it's the weight off your shoulders, isn't it? As you say, I was Louise, I really was. I was really, absolutely, it was PVC that jacket was. And trying to run around like 13.1 miles, around uh, parts of the city derby and then going around through Alveston Castle and all that lot, it did take its toll. But you know what, I don't give up. If I was still gambling, I would have gave up about halfway on doing something like that. And part of me doing the fancy dress is me ego, obviously, and stuff like that. So it is what it is. Uh, I'm going to run on for another minute or so because I've got some very threatening clouds knocking about here. Uh, I'm back on nights next week. I'm definitely going to be back next Sunday. My Twitter is at baronmad 79 I'm going to have a bit of a play with Twitch probably in the next week or two. Uh, probably be a midweek one um, but I'm always going to be about I am available on Twitter I am actually available as well on the gambling community website as well uh, under the responsible gambling bit as well I am there in the forum uh, you'll see my name it's my full name on there uh, I'm, I'm around everywhere really so I'm on Twitter mainly best to private if you want to stay in the strictest confidence feel free to message me privately quite big on the safeguarding kind of thing stay safe stay quiet and stuff and all that lot I respect people's anonymity don't have to even give them your real name or anything like that just talk keep wide open and stuff and all that lot so I'm gonna get off now thank you for joining me on the stream be back next Sunday at 8 p.m. my name's Andy and I'm a gambling addict that's about 14th of April 2007 thanks guys take care